Welcome to the introduction to Civil 3D video tutorial. Since you tune in for uh, AutoCAD Civil 3D, I'm going to make the fair assumption that you already know how to work with AutoCAD, I mean regular vanilla AutoCAD. That means you know how this application manager works, the quick access toolbar at the very top, especially the ribbon, workspace area and like these different selections this green and blue and uh, what else we got we got the status bar down here we have the file tabs layout tabs i'm assuming you already familiar with this in case you're not please have a look at my introduction to autocad video tutorial which exactly explained very simply how this uh, ribbon works and uh, you know basically explain you everything you want to know about the AutoCAD uh, interface all right so civil 3d so very briefly to give a, give you a uh, bit of an introduction so this is basically AutoCAD 2d drafting plus the GIS geographic information system that makes up uh, this AutoCAD Civil 3D which is, uh, we are using in civil engineering, surveying and land planning. Going back to Civil 3D uh, interface, if you look at at the very top you can see this work workspace switching drop down list. In here you can see Civil 3D at the top which is selected there and if you go to drafting and annotation you can see the tribunes getting changed and it's going to bring you this regular AutoCAD and if you think I'm lying there you go so that is AutoCAD and going back to Civil 3D and exactly this is the AutoCAD so let's go back to Civil 3D there it is so what do you see here the main difference is of course the ribbon is different and you got your home tab you have points surfaces parcels grading and everything you want in this uh, for the uh, civil 3d section and what you have here at the left side this is called tool space that is the main difference uh, that is where actually your uh, civil 3d data is stored in this prospector uh, section it's to if I explain about this tool space, tool space, this is actually we call a palette. The reason is, it's like the artist's palette. You can take it out and store in a place you like it to be. So if you like it to be in the left side corner, it's going to go left side. And you can make it auto hide. Let's go back like that. If you click on this. This button right here is gonna go dock in there and it's gonna auto hide. And let's go there, bring it out. If you right click on it, so make sure when you move, when you try to move it, you click on this name bar, not area else. So click on the tool, tool space, this name, this bar right here. So if you right click, it's gonna give you options anchor left, anchor right, auto hide. Uh, whichever you like it to be usually I keep it standing like here so in this tool space we got four tabs here or we can call them vistas so we got prospector settings settings survey and toolbar so I'm gonna explain you in detail about this prospector and the settings so prospector that is where civil 3d is gonna store your data in so which what, what are the details whatever the details you have in your drawings in this model area this workspace going to be stored in this point in this uh, in this prospector region to give you a bit of an exp example so I'm gonna create a couple of points so in my next tutor tutorial I'm gonna show you exactly about everything about everything you wanna know about points so just to show you uh, I click on points and just create that. Uh, just create that and give it a name uh, A. Description. And so I created a point. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to create another one. So I'm going to name it as B. 
did the elevation of 400 okay so all right now i created two points okay i see one here there should be another one notice now something has changed here now there's a black dot showing at the points that means there are some data already entered in this area so if you click on them so the, it, 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 it expands and it show you in a tabular format whatever you created in this uh, workspace so if you want to so example imagine you have a very complex drawing in this work area and it's really difficult for you to look at and find out things so in that case what you can do you can simply right click on them and zoom to is going to take you to that particular point example i have another file uh, I'm, I'm planning to use in our in our future lessons so in here so notice the difference here so i'm going to this lesson one and if you expand this alignment there's nothing here and if i go to this other file and as i said what, what, whatever you have in this area is going to be stored in this tool space in this prospect so in here these are uh, the alignments also I, i'll have another lesson about alignments so I, if i expand this i got all the streets the center lines explained here uh, the stored in this to prospect area so in case I can't find the street name I'm looking for I just simply I can look at uh, look at this list in here center lines and if I want the Iowa I just uh, right click on it and go zoom to and it's gonna zoom me myself into this Iowa street so that's about this prospector so settings is basically uh, it's that is how we change the display how it's gonna be displayed on this uh, workspace so as an example you can uh, in the points you can change the point style you can simply uh, go change the appearance of the points uh, and uh, anything you want so I mean in the sense uh, points surfaces all the civil engineering related things you can change uh, how it's gonna be appeared in this work area all right so i think that's good for the introduction so next video i'm going to talk in detail about points all right thank you very much